Hey everyone, Dave here from Lionel. Today I want to show you a couple of methods of entering and engine information in the Cab 2 remote. As of 2017 production, we no longer include the orange modules with legacy engines. So I want to be able to show you uh, one way that will automatically enter in the information in the Cab 2 and then another way you can do it manually. Okay, the first method I'm going to show you is how to use the LCS sensor track to program the information into the Cab 2 remote. So the first thing we're going to do is program the engine. So if you take off the hatch so that you can put the run program switch into the program mode. And then I'm just going to program a random number three here. Hit the set button, you'll hear the horn. Throw the switch back into run mode. Place the hatch. And then when you drive the train over the sensor module, or sensor track rather, the information for the engine will automatically upload. So it will upload the road name. In this case, it's a Santa Fe. It'll upload the road number, the 9876, and it will set it as a legacy engine instead of a TMCC engine, and it will set it for legacy rail sounds. Okay, now that I've shown you how to enter in the engine information using a sensor track, I want to show you also how to do it manually for those people that don't have LCS or the sensor track on their layout. So I already have the engine programmed as number three here. You can see that the default mode is cab one mode. So this engine will run like a classic TNCC engine. You won't have all of the legacy features such as coiling whistle. So you want to be able to enter in the engine information into the cab two so that it can be a legacy engine. So you have the 200 speed steps, you have coiling whistle, etc. And also so it's easier to identify the engine. So after having your engine programmed in as number three here, you press the info button and that brings you up into the engine three info screen. The very first one here um, is for assigning a name to the engine. This is usually where we like to put the road number. So if I go in here and I can make it Santa Fe, so I'm just going to put ATSF here. Pretty easy just to scroll left and right using the red dial on the Cab2 remote and then hitting the add button in the middle here. When you're done entering in the name, you just hit next. And then it's going to ask you for the road number. So the road number on this engine is 9876. You just punch that in using the keypad here. Hit the set button once again, and now you've set the road number of the engine. Now, if you scroll over to the other tabs, we can set the rest of the engine up. You can do that by pressing the scroll button. And this brings it over to the type of engine it is. Now default is diesel, so this engine's already set as a diesel. But if you were to use a steam engine, you could scroll over to steam. You can see a diesel switcher, a steam switcher. There's, um, and if you go over here, you can go down to more. There's electric, subway, there, there are a number of different ones, accessory. So you can really program it to any kind of uh, <coughs> um, either accessory or locomotive that we've done in the past. So obviously we'll pick diesel here and then scroll over. And then you can pick legacy mode here. Now, default was set as cab one mode. Um, you can set it as a TMCC mode as well. Um, but obviously this is a legacy engine, so we're gonna select legacy mode. Scroll one more time just to make sure that we're on legacy rail sounds. Um, the other options are no rail sounds, regular rail sounds, rail sounds five, and then legacy rail sounds. Make sure that's select, and then you're all done setting up the manual information into the remote. You press the red button up here to go back to the home screen. And there you can see the name and road number and you're ready to drive your engine. Okay, so that was how to enter in the engine information into the Cab 2 remote, both automatically using the sensor track and manually using the keypad presses on the Cab 2 remote. There are other ways to enter in engine information into your system, um, such as the PC utility and as well as using the um, Wi-Fi apps that we have, uh, iCab, LCS, um, but I will show you how to do those in future videos. This one was simply to show how to enter in the information using the cab tour and the sensor track. So thank you everybody and uh, happy uh, train driving.